Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how to make this card idea using my double concertina gatefold die set. This one here, I've wrapped it up quite small and I've added this little belly wrap. You just slide it off and then when it opens up, you have your double concertina gatefold card. And it's a really fun style. This one says, to a great guy, have a fab day. And then it's got all of your different tools on there. And I've stamped and coloured the tools on here as well. Obviously, with the sentiment running through, I just wanted to give you some more ideas. You can read it pretty well. I think the font on this is big enough that you can see it when you look at it. But again, if you've got smaller sentiments, you might want to pop them into these smaller um, sections here or down these panels here. My bigger showstopper ones, big card for a big birthday, those sentiments, they will work really nicely in these panels these are extra these score lines that i've added and i'll talk you through that in a moment when this folds down you can also have it fold down like this so it's your six by six size it will go in a box envelope or a normal envelope it's up to you and then when you open it it would open up like this and then you've got obviously this big space here and on the front to add more sentiments but i wanted to show you this fun little way here this all just slides back in like so and then if you wanted to, you could pop that in another little envelope if you were going to be posting it. But it's perfect if you're hand delivering it as well. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So this is the double concertina gatefold showstopper die set. Lots of different ways to use this. I'm just going to show you one of them today. And then I will have a playlist that I will create, which will pop up here. And as I do more, I will pop them all into that playlist. I'm then going to be using it with the sentiment set. This is the new one. Love this. Also, I think I'm going to use the new wood grain embossing folder on the front or the belly band or the box. I'm not sure where I'm going with it yet. The stamp set I'm using is the new Hobbies Galore. So you've got a mix here of all your different um, icons there. And I've just pulled out all of the ones which are DIY related. And then the paper pad. And I'm using this one in the middle here. So I will talk you through all of the pieces. Now, like I said, there are a few ways that you can use this set. So when you cut it it will look like this and you'll have your score lines. I always like to go back over those. Just take your scoreboard and just go back over them. Just makes it easier for them to fold. You want to cut this twice. Then what you can do, rather than having a score line added here, I just thought it restricted you then to just making it always as a concertina style. So you then want to add a score line halfway through the middle here if you're going to make the card that I'm making today. So again, just take your scoreboard, and it's just under, this piece is just under six inches. So you want to be scoring at about two and seven eighths. Okay, I'm just going to do a little score there and then just fold it in half. And that way, so just pinch it there and then you could go back in and just score that. Like so. Okay, otherwise keep it full and you'll see in that playlist other ideas with it that way. Okay, so you'll see I've got my one here and then in the set you've got your mats and layers for these sections there. Okay, so once you've scored that through the middle, these mats and layers will fit in there. So you just want to cut them. I haven't done the mats and layers for the, if you keep it as the large section, they're easy to cut along with these anyway, but adding more of those size dies really did bump up the price. So we decided not to have them in. Okay, so you've got your two, then one of them, you want to cut the tab off, okay? Pop that in and just line it up. You're only doing this on one of them and just remove that completely. You then want to attach it. So actually I'll do the, the, um, the way you want these folded. You're going to have one like this, one like that. So I've got the one with the tab ons on my right hand side and this one without is on my left. You want to have a mountain and then a valley fold. Okay. So again, mountain, valley fold. And then that last one will be a mountain again. So that's how that one will look. And that's how that one looks. You're going to then add glue all down this uh, tab and we're going to stick it behind that one. Okay, so just lay it all flat again and just line that up and it will perfectly sit behind. Okay, so now we've got our concertina fold and it will all fold up into this shape. Okay, when you open it up, you'll have this and you can see how nicely it displays. If you didn't add those score lines, then that would just fold and it would be your six by six size like so to decorate the front of this open it up like a normal card and you've got that inside and i will have that like i said on the you know the channel 
Then you want to cut yourself these two strips here. So this long die here. You want to run that through twice. You've also then got your mats and layers as well. Now I'm going to do this a little bit different. So on the bottom one, I've added the mats and layers. And then I've just stamped icons from that set. This one here. And I've coloured them in in the same colours that are in the paper pad. From the stamp set, these are all separate, but I just kept them like that. And again, to a great guy. And I just stamped it right across. So I just wanted to show you other ways that you can add your sentiment across this piece. You might already have some small little sentiments that you want to stamp in here because these dies, as I always say, will work with anything you have in your stash. You can also have your sentiments on these sections or on the front if you keep it as that whole section. You might pop it on the belly band. If you've got my the sentiments for the showstoppers, well, one and two, some of those will fit really nicely in these areas as well. With these, you want to have a mountain fold at the end where the tab is, and then another mountain fold, and then a valley, and then finish with two mountain folds. So basically all mountain folds apart from the middle, which is a valley fold, so you've got that shape. And again, the same with this one here. You're going to weave this in here. So just pull it through, and you want that valley to stay in the middle of this mountain, okay? This one's falling down because it's got the mats and layers on it already, so it's made it heavier. Once I stick these ones onto there, it will do the same. So it's only that's the only reason it's doing that. And again, pull this one through, and you can start to see how we're going to get this really cool card coming together. So before I stick them down, you may have chosen, you might want to keep the inside panels plain um, because these obviously stick onto that area. I've decorated mine. I just, again, a lot of these are sample cards, which eventually will get used. I do use a lot of my own samples eventually, but I just want to show you as, you know, many ways to show off the papers and how to decorate it. So again, I'm just going to add my glue onto the backs of these and stick those down. Okay, so next we can attach these. Now there's a few ways to do these. I think once you've got it, for those of you that have the set, I think you will try a few ways. You'll probably see me add these a few different ways. Depending on where you position it will allow the concertina to expand more or less. So it, it's, it's gonna vary. I think the easiest way to attach these is just weave it through and you want the middle score line here to line up with the middle score line like so. So you can push this down and just make sure they're evenly spaced and you'll see that it, it's got a bit of movement within there so just make sure you've got an equal bit at the top and the bottom and also what I can do is the score lines here and here I can kind of just position them equally from the edge of the frame here and here so I know that's in the middle there and I'm just going to add my glue all on the back like so and then just fold that under and lay it down like so just hold that there for a moment. You could also do this one at the same time. So whilst that's drying, I'm just gonna weave that one through. You can put all the score lines and the folds back in again. And again, I'm just lining up this score line now so it's in line with that one. Bring this up with the glue, and then again, just fold that down and under. Again, just make sure they're nice and parallel with each other there. This is all nice and straight. I'm just going to fold that over and then I can just let that dry for a minute. Okay, so once you're happy they've stuck down, you want to just get the folds back in again there. And you want to fold this all down. So just this side, okay? There we go. So now I can add my glue to the other side. Excuse my snoring dog in the background there. <laughs> Some of you may have heard that if you've got your headphones on. And then you're going to close the card like so. OK, so just keep that all together now so it can dry. OK, once you're happy that everything's stuck down, you can open it up and you have your double concertina gatefold. It's a really clever design. Obviously, your sentiment, this is just an idea to put it along here. You've obviously got the bar there through the middle, so you do have to kind of look side to side to read it. But it's I think because it's a bold enough print, it works. But like I said, you might have smaller sentiments that you want to pop in these squares or my bigger ones from the other showstoppers will fit nicely down here. I think maybe the poems as well, the happy birthday poem. I think that would fit down one of the sides. OK, so like I said at the start, if you haven't added the score lines, then yours will fold up like so. 
and you'll just pop that into a box envelope or just a normal um, six by six envelope. But because I'm gonna have mine like this, these pieces stick out. Now you can stick them further in, but then it won't expand as much, but you can also have them further out as well. And you'll see those other variations eventually on my channel. I've made this little sleeve, like belly band sleeve. And this is a piece of five inches wide. And then I just wrapped it around and just glued it. So I think it was about eight and a quarter by five. You don't need to score it. I just wrapped it around and you'll see that that all slides in really nicely. So you get a bit of the detail at the top and the bottom. And then I've just stamped the other little um, icons again. And then I took the It's Your Birthday. That was from my old tower collection stamp set. So that's, for me, that is the envelope, so I could hand deliver that, or you can pop it in another envelope or a little box. I've got lots of gift boxes on the channel as well. Or pop it in a little hamper, a little pocket in something. There's lots of ways to use this. I think these look great in mini albums as well, actually. You can have photos in all the little squares. But it's a really sweet style doing it this way. And uh, like I said, across the videos that I share, I just want to give you lots of inspiration of different ways to decorate these. So yeah, look out for all the rest. Like I said, I'll be adding them into that playlist. So thank you as always for watching today. I will have all of the product that I've used today just here. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you've enjoyed today and you want to see more videos, then just click here. And again, I'll have the playlist popping up here as well. You might want to check that out as I add more to it. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.